guys so today is my first day well i guess yesterday was technically my first full day in vegas um but today is my first weekday and it's noon i am taking a lunch break right now i just took a shower my mom is cooking and um i just wanted to sit out here to kind of <laughs> let the heat air dry my hair a little bit but talk as well um it's going to be 100 here all week so <sighs> it's gonna feel a bit restricting feeling like I can't go anywhere I mean obviously I can go somewhere but not for very long and um, it will be a little bit tricky when it comes to when I can take Riley out it's either early morning or really late in the evening they do have a treadmill so I will be using that for her throughout the day um, I used to use a treadmill with her when I was in New Jersey at my condo for a very short period of time, so I'm very surprised that it's a plane flying. I'm very surprised that she still remembers it pretty well because I got her on there and she started walking and wasn't very wasn't very fearful of it. It is a little bit loud back here because their backyard is right next to the road. So I think there's another car coming. So that does suck actually because uh, their yard is much smaller. I'm a mean one. <laughs> I just keep thinking about how small their yard is compared to the last house. My mom is in the process of planting, so I'll show it a little bit. So this right here is her latest project. I'm not sure what she plans on planting, but she was telling me how difficult it is because it's just all rocks back here. So it takes her like two days to dig a hole deep enough for her to plant something. This, I believe, is a dragon fruit plant. I forget what she says this is, but the texture of the leaves is actually very interesting. This is just something the landscapers did, I guess, when they first bought the house. So it's been there for a while. I guess those are all of our little things. We've got the little toy table from our childhood. Some broccoli to eat. So she did eat it at my house. She's being very delicate with it. No good. Okay, so it is Tuesday and I decided to book a magic show on Thursday night for Shin Lim. Uh, I wanted to do a magic show, but he is actually someone I've never heard about and he seems pretty popular. Specializes in card tricks, so we'll see. I'm very curious to see how they will showcase that show because card tricks, you know, if you sit all the way in the back, how are you going to see it? So I would imagine they will have cameras that project onto a screen perhaps, but um, I'm just sitting out here because it's a bit cold in my parents' house. The AC fluctuates like crazy. So um, it's a bit cold in there and it's nice and warm out here in the shade, of course. Um, I'm gonna sit out here and read a little bit to take a break from work because I just had an hour and a half straight of meetings and I want to read a little bit. But um, admittedly, I am kind of bored here. Um, this is a good test run for whether I could see myself living here and I think it's 100%, 200%, absolutely not. Um, I don't like the fact that when you drive around here, it's not beautiful in my opinion. Yeah, there's mountains on the outskirts and that looks cool, but it's not as nice as San Diego. It just looks so dead as you drive around the city. And um, yeah, uh, too hot, way too hot, like this entire week. I don't even feel like I can walk Riley because even by like 8 to 9 p.m. it's still warm uh, so even though the sun is gone it's still really warm to an uncomfortable degree I feel like that it wouldn't make walking enjoyable so I don't even foresee myself walking her all week and I might just resort to the treadmill I haven't liked the feeling of being holed up in the house just because you know the expectation is it's going to be 100 degrees all week. So uh, you don't really expect to go out and do anything until it's later in the day. And even if it's later in the day, I still feel like I would rather drive around and do something rather than go out and physically be out 
if that makes any sense. Like, obviously, if you're driving around, you have AC, but I wouldn't want to, like, go out and walk and, like, do anything nature-related around here. I don't really think I have that energy anyways because I am working. So maybe later on today, I'll drive around, look at some rich neighborhoods if I feel like it, but I still feel like... I get the feeling they're all going to be gated, which is going to be super lame, and uh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Puppers? Sit. Good. Break. Good girl. your head down. Good. You're a cute one. <laughs> All right. I don't have to buy an iCloud, right? No, you, don't so need, I, you don't have to, but that means you can't upload anything more. There's okay. no more space. But I can take a picture in the, in the storage. I can take a picture on my iPhone. Yeah, as long as you have space on your phone. Oh, okay. I don't care iCloud. Yeah. No, it's just, it's just a message because you probably are automatically uploading it. So it's just letting you know, but oh, okay. if you don't care, it's fine. Yeah. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, hi, Milo. Daddy's music so loud. It is Wednesday. I don't know why I'm sweating right now. AC's on, but I've been here since uh, Sunday afternoon. And doing work here has been different. Um, it's definitely not enjoyable working off a laptop, especially if you don't have it elevated because then you're just like looking down the whole time and I'm also leaning forward in my chair. I can't sit back, can't sit properly. Ergonomics is no good. I find my wrist hurting. If I'm sitting there for too long, so that part does suck, but I think it's good also that I'm kind of at the learning stages of work, so I'm not extremely busy. Um, this week also seems to be pretty decent when it comes to meetings. Uh, so it's nice to feel like my weeks are starting to ease out when it comes to meetings. So I decided to buy tickets for a magic show tomorrow night. Um, so it's Shin Lim called, Limit, called Limitless. And I feel like a lot of people had a... Ooh, I can't speak today. I feel like a lot of people have heard of him before and know of him from shows like America's Got Talent or I guess he was on there for two seasons and then maybe he was on Penn and Teller so those are all things I don't watch and I don't follow magic at all so I was not aware of him and how big he is so um I'm gonna check him out tomorrow hopefully I'll enjoy it but I do kind of feel like the fact that I don't know magic very well um, I wonder if that will affect my enjoyment of it because some people who are familiar even by a little bit They can try to catch and figure out how he's doing the tricks But I feel like since I know none of that I'm just gonna be confused the whole time But uh, I think before I go I want to spend some time walking around the strip because I Haven't done anything else here and maybe it would be nice to Explore it again. I don't feel like I've really done anything there for a long time even though I've passed through and been here in Vegas once in a while I mean I've never done an extended stay here outside of this time so uh yeah 
I don't know, might plan on leaving either early Saturday morning or Friday night. So I am back from Vegas. I was at my parents from Sunday until Friday evening and I am definitely glad I had that little trial of being in Vegas because I mentioned that I have to move out in November. So my landlord has been really back and forth and it's been pissing me off. Originally he was like, I'm going through a divorce, I want to sell my house. Then he was like, never mind, I'm gonna keep my house. I will offer you a six month extension and a small rent increase. And then I was like, great, I would rather stay because right now because of COVID, the pricing of renting is ridiculously high. Um, I could get a similar setup in terms of like what this house offers me and it would cost maybe like three to $400 more. So it's ridiculous. I ideally don't wanna move out, but he wants to live here again so i have to leave and um originally i was thinking oh it would be nice to move somewhere else and save more money so i considered vegas because my parents are there but when i was there i just felt really poorly um i felt no motivation to go out i also felt like i really did not enjoy my surroundings so i feel like in vegas everything around you looks the same when you're going around looking at neighborhoods or even just driving through and you look at the neighborhoods on the side all of the houses look the same and i hate that so much i really don't like that but also it's really hot so it was 100 all week at my parents house so i did not really walk where i like i had her go on the treadmill and that i don't like either just staying inside your house all day because you feel like you can't go out because it's so freaking hot and that's gonna last for a decent amount of time if you were to live there. So I would never consider living there. Um, I'm still on the lookout for a place to live around here. And I will try not to worry too much about not finding the right one. I have almost a month. So ideally, I think I would wanna move out November 1st, but I have up until November 13th, that is my least end date. But I think my um, landlord would prefer for me to leave sooner. But anyways, my last day is 13th and hopefully I find a really, really good place to live. So next week is very exciting. Diablo 2 Resurrected is coming out. I decided to take two days off of work to binge the game. Oh man, I am really, really excited. And then next month is also very exciting because it's my birthday. It's also the international for Dota. So all of that is around the same time, which is crazy. So from 7th to the 10th, I believe it is group stages, and then 12 to 17 is main stage. So that's just after my birthday. And then on October 14th, I'm also going to see Louis C.K. live. So I haven't seen Louis C.K. live in many, many years. I, um, I think I've only seen him one other time previously at Atlantic City, back when I was living in New Jersey. But um, anyways, I'm very, very happy to be home. I definitely felt very uncomfortable at my parents' house just because um, you know, it's not your house and I couldn't, I really didn't like working where I did. I was leaving my laptop on the dining room table and I was just sitting on a wooden chair and that was basically what my childhood was like. Well, not so much childhood, more like teenage years, but um, for the three years that I was in college and then a little bit after I graduated, I was at home and my computer was right next to the kitchen in just this little desk area and my chair was the wooden chair that we had at home. And I remember telling myself after I moved out 
I would never fucking watch movies at my computer ever again because I hated it. It was very uncomfortable. Even though I have a better chair now and I love this chair, I still don't want to watch movies at my desk. It's not comfortable that way. I want to be on a sofa. So I really hated that experience and um, very happy to be here. Also, like, you know, the noise. I felt so bad because my parents, I know, I mean, it's not always convenient because I'm in a open area having my meetings, but I had to worry about their noise. There's like all kinds of noise going on. My parents have a cuckoo clock um, and my mom can be occasionally noisy, like smacking her lips when she's eating and stuff like that. So um, I also did bring my cats but I don't really know if I would want to again. It just felt like such a hassle, <laughs> especially bringing the litter box. But um, another thing that I have been considering is, so the breeder contacted me and said that there is a litter due sometime in September. I'm gonna ask her again just to verify it. So I'm assuming that they will be here by the end of the month and it's almost the end of the month. So go home would be in December. And I am tempted to get a kitten around that time because usually companies, and I do believe mine does, they offer you like two weeks around Christmas for a break. So I was thinking that it would be nice to spend time and bond with my kitten around that time when I have more free time than when I'm working. So I'm thinking about that. Although I do like the idea of getting a kitten around the same time as Jose so we get to kind of experience it together and then the kittens can also play with each other. I think he wants to wait a little bit longer for um, springtime of next year before he gets a kitten so I'll try not to pressure him <laughs> into making a decision now. But um, yeah, I'm very very happy to be home and I hope everyone has been happy and healthy of course. <laughs>